hard disk drives, HDDs. Imagine a tiny, mechanical record player spinning inside your computer. Except instead of music, it's reading and writing your files. That's the magic of the hard disk drive, a technology that has been the workhorse of digital storage since IBM introduced the first commercial version in 1956. Modern HDDs use magnetic platters, spinning anywhere between 5,000, 400, and 15,000 revolutions per minute, with an arm hovering nanometers above the surface to read and write data. In human terms, it's like having a high-speed librarian that can open any page in your book collection almost instantly, but with moving parts that eventually wear out. HDDs shine in affordability and sheer capacity. You can easily find drives storing 10, 14, even 20 terabytes, perfect for bulk data like backups, video archives, and game libraries. But they're slower than their solid-state cousins, more prone to physical shock damage, and their mechanical nature makes them less energy efficient. Still, in servers and personal computers where cost per gigabyte matters, HDDs remain a solid backbone. Solid-state drives, SSDs. No spinning disks, no moving arms, just raw speed sealed in a chip. Solid-state drives store your data in flash memory, which means they can retrieve files in milliseconds, making your system feel snappy and instant. The first consumer SSDs appeared in the late 2000s, but the technology has roots in military and industrial systems decades earlier. In everyday life, SSDs make boot times almost vanish, allow video editors to scrub 4K footage without stutter, and let gamers load massive maps instantly. They're silent, shock-resistant, and more power-efficient than HDDs. But all that speed comes at a higher cost per gigabyte, and flash memory cells have a limited number of write cycles, meaning heavy, constant rewrites can shorten their lifespan. Even so, for operating systems, active project files, and performance-hungry applications, SSDs are the gold standard. NVMe storage. Think of NVMe as SSDs on rocket fuel. While regular SSDs often use the SATA interface, a holdover from the HDD era, NVMe Non-Volatile Memory Express connects directly to the PCIe lanes on your motherboard, unlocking staggering data transfer speeds. Introduced in 2011, NVMe was designed specifically for flash storage, eliminating the bottlenecks of older protocols. The result? Drives capable of 7,000 megabit per second reads and writes with microscopic latency. This is storage so fast that copying a full HD movie can take seconds instead of minutes. In practice, NVMe shines in high-end gaming rigs, servers, and workstations, where time is literally money. The downside is cost, and the fact that many workloads simply don't benefit from the extreme speeds, meaning for casual users, the jump from SATA SSD to NVMe may feel less dramatic than the leap from HDD to SSD. Hybrid drives, SSHDs. If HDDs are the dependable truck, and SSDs are the sports car, hybrid drives are the pickup truck with a turbocharger. Introduced to bridge the gap between speed and capacity, solid-state hybrid drives combine a traditional spinning disk with a small SSD cache, usually 8 to 32 GB, that stores your most frequently accessed files. This means the drive learns your habits over time, serving up your operating system and favorite apps at SSD-like speed, while still giving you terabytes of cheap HDD space. They're popular in budget laptops and gaming consoles, but the small cache size limits their performance gains. And in the age of cheaper SSDs, hybrid drives have become more of a niche option than a mainstream choice. External hard drives. Sometimes you want your storage to be portable, but still massive. External HDDs are simply traditional hard drives housed in a protective casing with a USB or Thunderbolt interface. They're the go-to for backups, media collections, or transferring large files between machines. They can be pocket-sized for portability or desktop size for sheer capacity, with some offering built-in encryption or rugged, shock-resistant designs. Their weaknesses are similar to internal HDDs, slower speeds, and vulnerability to drops, but their plug-and-play convenience keeps them a favorite among photographers, videographers, and anyone moving terabytes across systems. External SSDs. Now imagine the portability of an external HDD but with the speed and silence of an SSD. External solid-state drives, often using NVMe internals, can reach blazing transfer rates over USB 3.2. These are a dream for professionals working with large raw image files, uncompressed audio, or video projects on the go. Compact, lightweight, and resilient against drops, external SSDs are perfect for high-speed editing directly from the drive. The trade-off, of course, 
is price, though costs are steadily dropping, making them more accessible than ever. USB flash drives, tiny, tough, and often underestimated, USB flash drives have been a data lifeline since the early 2000s. Built with NAND flash memory, they plug directly into USB ports and can store anything from a handful of megabytes to over 2 terabytes today. They're the modern-day equivalent of floppy disks and CDs. Quick, portable, and perfect for sneaker netting data from one place to another. Their small size makes them convenient, but also easy to lose. And their durability depends on build quality. For quick file swaps, firmware updates, or emergency OS installations, they remain an indispensable tool in every tech kit. Memory cards. Pull the back off a camera or pop open a smartphone SIM tray, and you'll likely find one of these wafer-thin storage cards. SD Secure Digital Cards and their smaller cousin, MicroSD, dominate consumer electronics, while high-speed formats like CF Express power professional cameras. These cards use flash memory but vary wildly in speed, from budget models barely suitable for HD video to pro-grade cards handling uncompressed 8K footage in real time. Their strengths are size, removability, and compatibility with countless devices, but they can be fragile, both physically and in terms of data integrity if mishandled. Optical Discs Yes, they're old school, but optical discs still serve specific niches. Data is stored as tiny pits and lands on a reflective surface, read by a laser. CDs store up to 700 MB, DVDs up to 4.7 GB per layer, and Blu-rays up to 100 GB for triple layer discs. While they've been largely replaced by flash and cloud storage, optical media remains valuable for long-term archiving, since properly stored discs can last decades without degradation. The drawback is speed. Writing to discs is painfully slow compared to modern methods and capacity, which is dwarfed by even the smallest USB drive today. Cloud Storage When your data lives in the cloud, it's really stored on massive arrays of servers in data centers around the world. Services like Google Drive, Dropbox, and iCloud make your files accessible from anywhere with an internet connection. Cloud Storage excels in convenience, collaboration, and disaster recovery. If your laptop is stolen, your files are still safe online. But it depends entirely on internet access and introduces privacy concerns as you're trusting a third party with your data. Behind the scenes, cloud providers use multiple layers of redundancy with copies stored across different regions to ensure uptime and resilience. NOS Network Attached Storage Imagine having your own private cloud at home or in the office. That's NAS a small server with multiple hard drives, or SSDs, connected to your local network. NAS devices store massive amounts of data and can be accessed by multiple users simultaneously. They're essential in small businesses, creative studios, and even enthusiast home setups, often used for media streaming, backups, and file sharing. Modern NAS units offer RAID configurations for data redundancy and can run apps, manage surveillance footage, or even host websites. They're powerful but require more setup and maintenance knowledge than plug-and-play external drives. Tape storage. It might sound prehistoric, but tape storage is alive and well in enterprise environments. Modern linear tape open, LTO, cartridges can store up to 18 terabytes uncompressed, and they're incredibly cost-effective for long-term archiving. Tapes are loaded into robotic libraries, automatically retrieved when needed, and can last 30 years in proper conditions. The downside is speed. Tape is sequential, so finding a single file requires winding through reels of data. Still, for governments, banks, and studios archiving raw footage, tape is unbeatable for durability and price per terabyte. Enterprise SAN Storage Area Networks At the highest levels of performance, you'll find SANs, massive, dedicated high-speed networks connecting servers to shared storage arrays. These systems power financial institutions, scientific research, and large-scale enterprise operations, delivering lightning-fast, block-level access to data. SANs are incredibly scalable, but also complex and expensive to run, requiring specialized hardware and network infrastructure. We've covered the full range of modern data storage, but the future is even stranger than crystals, DNA, and devices smaller than a grain of sand. Subscribe and stick around, because the next chapter of storage is about to blow your mind.